Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so it's me, Rose, and in today's um video, I'm going to be doing a game review. Um, it's a Roblox game. Um, so game reviews, like today's game review. Let's see. <laughs> um, sorry. Um. So game review is like when I just talk about a game and how to play it and stuff like that. Um, so that's what I'm doing today for a Roblox game. And the game in Roblox that I will be um, like talking about is SCP-3008, I think it's called. Yeah. It's a game in Roblox, um, and basically it's like, it's like an Ikea place. So it's an Ikea store, and during the morning, like in the morning, um, you have to gather materials from the store, like, um, either pallets or shelves or any um items that you find in the store you have to use those items to help you build like a little shelter or homes um to help you survive the night and protect you from the ikea workers because at night the ikea workers um they're like evil so they can jump really high run really fast and they will kill you if they see or hear you so um yeah that's pretty much the whole point of the game so be oh <laughs> not sure how to explain this part but um that's the point of the game. So in the morning, the IKEA workers are like blind. Um, they're they're still in the store. Um, they just won't harm you. But when night comes, they will. Like they will not hesitate to do so. So um, yeah. Um. I'll, I'll list a few um, items that I recommend you should use to build um, your shelter or base with. Uh, a pal pallets. Pallets? If you don't know what pallets are, um, pallets are like these little wooden planks put together to like form a platform. They're already created for you. You just have to find them. Usually you can find them like these really huge metal ikea shelves shouldn't be too hard to find once you find the shelves unless someone has used all of the um pallets for their base um but yeah so those are that's one of the things i recommend using for your base another thing that i do highly recommend using for your base are shelves um, you can use shelves, like, as, like, a storage area for your med kits and food, which I will explain what those are for in a little bit. Um, but you can use your shelves that you've gathered to store your food or med kits that you found around the IKEA map. Um... Something else that I recommend, um, I would recommend beds. Um, it might not be the most fashionable or pretty, but that's not really the point of the game to make like a, like your base to look pretty and aesthetic and all that. Um, the point is to find materials, to build a base, to protect yourself so you can survive. Um, so shelves and pallets are what I really recommend, and beds as well. Um, 
So those are the things that helped me survive. I've never really used anything other than those three items. Um, so I do recommend using those items if you ever play that game. Um, and so now that we've got in that topic covered, let's move on to the medicates. So medicates help you um give you more like health it raises your health like if you ever ran into an ikea worker and they like touched you and you lost a bit of health or from fall damage um it can help it helps you restore your health so um med kits of course they're pr- they're pretty useful but um you you will find you will find more food around the map rather than med kits um and food helps you regain energy once you lose all your energy you will die i'm pretty sure so you need food to help um regain your energy and keep your energy at a good level for you to survive because not only do the ikea workers kill you losing a bunch of energy can also kill you as well as um as well as boot like fall damage and you don't heal yourself and you just keep falling carelessly um so yeah those two items are also really important to have in your face um, especially if the, when the nights are long, because the nights just feel really long to me. Um, not sure about those who have played it or those who decide to play after this, but to me, the nights are really long. So definitely recommend, like, a good place to build your base in. Um... Like, good places to build your bases in are, like, really high places, like, the top shelf, um, or, like, one of those, like, already, like, made bases, but not really complete yet. What I mean by that is, like, sometimes there is these ladders by the wall that, like, lead up to somewhere, and the platform is usually a pallet. So technically, um, the exterior, the exterior of your base and partly of the interior of your base is already built, and those are pretty high places. So then you just need to add on to your base and like get your shelves, get more pallets to build walls and beds to make stairs, so that. Um, you can get up and down because sometimes the ladders are hard to get up, um, to get up on. Not sure about others, but for me, it is sometimes. Um, so yeah. Uh, so the topics we've covered so far are food, med kits, like materials I recommend you using, building your base with, and of course, um, where to build your base. And personally, this is coming from me, not like some kind of expert or anything, but if I were asked to rate the game out of 10, I would rate it a 9 out of 10. I wouldn't rate it a 10 just because... I don't like the fact that other people can take apart your base without your consent. So they can just willingly, free-willingly take apart your base without even asking because some people just don't care. They need materials, they want to survive, they take your stuff if they can't find any. So that's the only, that's my only issue. And sometimes 
you take, you take, like, you find a material and you take it, but you don't, it's just laying around there. So other people can accuse you of stealing, and then they take apart your base because, like, they've misunderstood you. They, like, didn't really realize you didn't know it was theirs since it was just laying around. So that's my only issue with the game, but other than that, I definitely find the game really fun to play with. Um, so yeah, you can find the game on your Roblox platform, um, it's completely free, just search up SCP-3008, and you should find the game. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and try playing the game, I definitely recommend it. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time, bye!